what it is you're going to do. That's right. It will come up against you. I, I had told Brother Bobby when he um, was asking me to do this, and I said, oh, Bobby, you know, no, not me. <laughs> and I said, this isn't me up here. I said, I'm, you know, I'm fine with the older people, you know. They don't care. Watch Half it. of them is deaf. Some of them can't <laughs> see it. So, you know, it's no big deal. And I said, but with me, it's... Um, being up here, you know, it makes me nervous and everything, so. <laughs> you're among friends. You're going to be fine. But anyways, Get I've already had my little thing written out months and months and months ago, and I said, oh, I won't have to worry about it, you know. I won't never have to worry about it. And then I had another one, God damn me, I won't ever have to worry about it or anything. Has Raymond got any tomatoes? <laughs> and but anyways, no, you know everything it. that could yeah. happen this past two weeks has happened. You know, I guess I have an abscess tooth, and my eye down here, it's or my skin down here, it went over my eye, and I'm trying to see it work and trying to drive, and you know it's been real struggling. I said, okay, Satan, I know what's up, because I said. Dang it, Bobby. <laughs> you know, I knew what was going to happen. You always know something's going to happen. When something's good, it's going to happen. Something bad really already came. You know, and, but God's good and he'll see you through. Yeah. But I thank him for everything. And um, I said, even if I lose my voice, I'll move my lips. Somebody can read lips, you know, or whatever. So they have to deal with me at work, you know, poor people. But I have to pray for them all the time. That, <laughs> that God shields their ears and their eyes a lot of times and things we do. But um, I'm going to read Ephesians 1, 3 through 14. And this is about being, being predestined. We all are predestined in this life. And I spoke on this once before, but God just wouldn't let it go. I guess this is why he just wouldn't let it go. But it said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings, blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of sons or children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of grace, of, well, I said it wrong, to the praise of his glory, of the glory, help me, Lord, his grace, through which he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through the blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Yeah. Thank God for his grace. Yeah. In which he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, yes. which he had half purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his, his own, own will, will, that we should be the, be to the, that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ, in whom he also trusted after he heard, heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after ye believed, ye were sealed Shield. with that Holy Spirit of promise, who is the earnest of our inheritance Amen. until the redemption, until the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the praise, praise of His, his glory. glory. I, I thank God for His word. I thank Him for everything that He does, and for those that don't know what predestined means, and down in my little thing down here it says to mark out or beforehand and God has called all of us to do a thing Amen. in him Amen. and you know I don't like getting up in front of people and I have to all the time and I always say that I can't do it 
but I always seem to do it, you know. And it's like, well, how am I doing this when I say, I can't do it, but I just did it. And then I say, well, I did do it, but I can't do it. How, you know? But, you know, we, we don't know what God's going to use us for. It's all in for right. and, um, But I just wanted to talk about that because in this life, we all have a work to do. That's right. We all are ordained <coughs> in God. Yeah. But, you know, we all are a preacher. His word says for us to go out and preach his word. Uh -huh. Ministers. And yes. so Everyone we all them. are, whether it be here in a nursing home, singing, a testimony, it doesn't matter. He has predestined all of us to do a thing. Mm -hmm. And and I do better <laughs> kind of reading. Um but he didn't procrastinate. When he knew what he was going to do, absolutely, he was determined, Thank God. fully and completely in his mind to Thank do God. exactly what he set out to do. Yes. Amen. He spoke the world into existence. He created everything in this world, and or he spoke it all into existence. Yes, except he did. Us. Yep. And um, so you know he was already predestined in his mind what he was going to do. So there wouldn't be no existence of us if he hadn't spoken into there. That's right. Amen. But he molded and made each one of us exactly the way he wanted us in our mother's wombs. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Sure. And this here, God turned all this around. I had it totally different. <laughs> and I was telling, telling Shane earlier, I said, I don't know why. There's some things in here. So if it offends anybody, I'm sorry, but this is this is God. Come on. <laughs> so, um, Preach it. Preach it. But he formed us all in our mother's wombs exactly the way he wanted us. If he made you a male, he expects you to stay a male. Come on. If he made you a female, stay that way. Uh, Amen. All right. These drag queens and all this, you know, you might as well forget it because you're going to be repenting somewhere. You know, we all will anyway. We all have to repent every day. But he does expect us to do the things that he called us to do. Um, he already knew that we were all going to fail him every day. Right. Every one of us is going to do something. I don't care what a good person you are. You're going to have a bad thought. You're going to have a dirty look. Somebody you could have done someone or something for someone, and you just didn't do it. Well, I just don't have time, or I don't have the money. But there's always a way. Somehow, some way, there's a way to help somebody, and he expects us to do that. Give a, give a little old per person around a nursing home. A hospital, whatever. Give them a little push. That little push, brighten up their day forever. You know, I mean, because there isn't no promise of tomorrow. So you know, you don't know what it's going to do for them. Right. And all people are touched in niceness. Kindness goes a long That's way. Right. Yes, it does. We're all predestined to do everything that He has set out for us to do. Sister Thelma, you told me the other day that your calling is nothing but singing. And you know, he blesses that. Absolutely. Because you're blessing somebody else in the singing. That's right. right. It don't matter how good any of us are or how bad. Right. right. And no matter what we do, as long as we're doing love to God, Amen. that's all that matters. Amen. 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 He gave every person a reason, a purpose, and a destiny in our life to do all things. He predestinated that. us to do everything that we've ever dreamed of doing yes. because he put those dreams there. Sure. You was talking about your painting. You yeah. may, he already probably has your little thing up here for you to paint for him, you know? Right. I, I was thinking about that when I went home. I thought, oh, my, I bet he's got a big old canvas up there just waiting for her to oh, paint him. Uh, I'll paint with you. She can paint him a pretty picture, <laughs> yeah. you know, and I thought about we'll you. We'll have a paint about, contest. I, I mean, everything's just been going through my mind, you know? Yeah. That's how I know yeah, I got a is getting on me. so close. Yeah, he's got and people yeah, are right. so dumb and not wise enough <laughs> to and understand black leopard. that. Today is the day of salvation. Yes, today, today is the day we need to serve yes, God right and be ready time. now. Right. Because, and you know, and I mean, yeah, I'm with the elderly, and you know, but heck, we've had them in there 107 years old, you know, and we've had them pass it 30 some, you know, babies. You never know. No, you don't. And no, you know, sure. but you no still got to preach God's word. Yeah. You got God's word's encouragement. Yes, it is. I mean, Life. there's a lot of things I've read in there. It's like, Lord, I didn't go out and kill nobody. What are you talking about? And he keeps bringing me back to it. And then we was talking that one day, and I said, I've murdered people with my mouth. Yes. Not realizing. Sure. But God already knew that. Yeah. 
He already knew we were going to do that. And, you know, just like I never dreamed I'd ever be up here. Never in a million years when I was out drinking and smoking and having all this fun. I never dreamed I'd be anywhere telling, well, I didn't have a problem telling anybody about the Word of God because I always served God. I just couldn't serve God the way I wanted to serve God, the way I knew that I should have. Yes. And I could have if I had changed things in my life. Uh-huh. And I was thinking about you, Brother Ryan. We all make choices. That song. Choices. The choices we made. That song. It's, oh, yes. We've done it all ourselves. But he'll let you go and go and go. Yes, yes, yes. Until he's ready for you. And then he's going to turn everything that you thought you had just perfect in your uh-huh. life. He's going to turn around. Mm-hmm. It's, it's going to be gone. Uh-huh. You know, husband, wife, your money, everything. No matter how rich, how poor. The poor is going to be rich. The rich is going to be poor. Uh-huh. He's going to turn it all around. Amen. And he predestined that. And we all are made in his image. That's right. And he expected you when you was in your mother's womb and came out to be in that image he created you to be in. Amen. He wanted that. You know, I always picture what is, he gets us all together. What if we all actually formed his likeness? All of us together, each little molecule yes, in us body of Christ. was Him. You uh, know what I mean? Sure. I, I think about them things. I thought about that when I was a child, you know. So that goes to me. He was right there because, you know, I was baptized at eight. So that, I think that does it. When you get baptized as a little child, how is it His will never depart from you? Well, Mark, I was really worried when I didn't see you here. And I'd already, I'd already talked to Shane, and I said, "Oh, I've got to, I've got to do this. Mark's going to be my example." I said, um, "You know, God does give us all the free will to do whatever we want to do. We all have that choice. We can all do anything that we'd like to do, no matter what." Um, an in or a twin, identical twin. They're the same. They can dress the same. They can look the same. They can act the same, but they are not the same. Right. One may be a drunk, the other one may be a preacher. You know, you, you never know. Everybody is different. No two people are the same. And then we get people like that, Mark. Poor Mark. <laughs> He's got that chain a rattling. And God's got that little chain on us, and He'll let us go and go and go and go as far as we can. And Mark stretches that chain and stretches it and stretches it until it won't go no more, and then He stretches it even farther until it just about ready to snap, and then God jerks it. Stop. And he says, now Mark, my son, if you would have just listened to me in the beginning, you wouldn't have went through all these things you would have went through. Amen. Preach you on, Phil. Just listen. <laughs> you should have done the things Lord I told on. you to do. Lord on him. That's right. Poor Mark. He says, my yoke's not heavy, Mark. His yoke's easy. Just follow me. Amen. And that's all we got to do is just follow him and everything. But, well, that's about all I got. But he just predestined all of us to do what he wants us to do in his life. Hallelujah. And for us all to be Christ-like. Amen. Amen.